I'm Derek Richardson and it's my job at Pearson to sign off the grades that are awarded to all students each year. You'll see my name and signature at the bottom of your certificates after you've received your results. Well it's certainly been a very unusual time for those of you who would normally have been taking your assessments this summer and we understand that many of you are feeling anxious about what this means for your results. Our main priority this summer is to ensure that students are awarded the grades that you've worked so hard for so that you can continue to the next stage, whether that's further education, university, starting an apprenticeship or going into work. Throughout the summer, instead of marking exam papers as we normally would, we're working through a new process set out by Ofqual, the qualifications regulator. This is so that you can be sure that the grades you receive on results day are an accurate and fair reflection of what you might have achieved if you had been able to sit your assessments. We've been working closely with Ofqual, the other exam boards and your schools and colleges to make sure that we've got all the information we need to be able to give you your results on time and I wanted to tell you more about that work now. For every subject that you were due to have an exam or assessment, your teachers were asked to submit to exam boards a centre assessment grade. The centre assessment grades provided by your school or college contain teachers' professional judgments of the most likely grades you might have achieved had you been able to take your assessments. Your teachers might have drawn on a range of different information, including mock exam results, non-examined assessments or coursework, other general records or evidence of performance across the course of study. They were also asked to put students in an order of expected achievement in each subject within each grade. In addition, for BTEC learners, we asked your teachers for the actual grades for any units that you had already completed. All of this information will have been checked by other teachers within your school or college and signed off by the head of your school or college before being submitted to us. Pearson, along with the other exam boards, are now standardising these centre assessment grades using a mathematical model that has been developed by Ofqual for GCSEs and A-levels. For BTEC qualifications, we're checking the completed unit grades and we will calculate your missing unit grades using this information according to a model we've developed and which is underpinned by Ofqual's requirements. This process is called standardisation and we will look at information such as historical data, prior performance and the national picture, as well as the data from schools and colleges to issue our final grades. We'll apply the same principles to our international qualifications, such as international GCSE and international A-levels, as we do for those qualifications taken mainly in the UK. This process is really important, as it makes the process as fair as it can be for everyone, by ensuring the same grading standards are applied for all schools and colleges and that grades remain comparable from one year to the next. If grading judgments in some schools and colleges appear to be more generous or more severe than others, individual grades may be adjusted up or down to reflect that. Ofqual have created an infographic to help explain the process that all exam boards will be using this year for GCSEs and A-levels. You can take a look using the link in the video description below. We've also created an infographic that explains the process for graded BTEC qualifications which have calculated results. You can also take a look at this using the link in the video description below. I know this has been an exceptional year and we're here to support you and your teachers in the run-up to results day. I hope you'll visit our dedicated student web pages at quals pearson.com stroke 2020 students. Thank you very much for listening today.